Goldilocks and Three Bears Once upon a time there were three bears who lived in a house in the forest. There was a great big father bear, a middle-sized mother bear and a tiny baby bear. One morning, their breakfast porridge was too hot to eat, so they decided to go for a walk in the forest. While they were out, a little girl called Goldilocks came through the trees and found their house. She knocked on the door and, as there was no answer, she pushed it open and went inside. In front of her was a table with three chairs, one large chair, one middle-sized chair and one small chair. On the table were three bowls of porridge, one large bowl, one middle-sized bowl and one small bowl, and three spoons. Goldilocks was hungry and the porridge looked good, so she sat in the great big chair, picked up the large spoon and tried some of the porridge from the big bowl. But the chair was very big and very hard, the spoon was heavy and the porridge too hot. Goldilocks jumped off quickly and went over to the middle-sized chair. But this chair was far too soft, and when she tried the porridge from the middle-sized bowl it was too cold. So she went over to the little chair and picked up the smallest spoon and tried some of the porridge from the tiny bowl. This time it was neither too hot nor too cold. It was just right and so delicious that she ate it all up. But she was too heavy for the little chair and it broke in pieces under her weight. Next Goldilocks went upstairs, where she found three beds. There was a great big bed, a middle-sized bed and a tiny little bed. By now she was feeling rather tired. So she climbed into the big bed and lay down. The big bed was very hard and far too big. Then she tried the middle-sized bed, but that was far too soft. So she climbed into the tiny little bed. It was neither too hard nor too soft. In fact, it felt just right, all cozy and warm. And in no time at all Goldilocks fell fast asleep. In a little while, the three bears came back from their walk in the forest. They saw at once that pushed open the door of their house and Father Bear looked around. Then roared with a growly voice. Mother Bear said in a quiet gentle voice. Somebody has been sitting in my chair. Then Little Bear said in small squeaky baby voice. Somebody has been sitting in my chair and Nas broke in it. Then Father Bear looked at his bowl of porridge and saw the spoon in it and he said in his great big growly voice. Somebody has been eating my porridge. Then Mother Bear saw that her bowl had a spoon in it, and said in her quiet voice. Somebody has been eating my porridge. Little Bear looked at his porridge bowl and said in his small squeaky baby voice. Somebody has been eating my porridge, and has eaten it all up. Then the three bears went upstairs, and Father Bear saw at once that his bed was untidy, and he said in his great big growly voice. Somebody has been sleeping in my bed. Mother Bear saw that her bed, too, had the bedclothes turned back, and she said in her quiet gentle voice. Somebody has been sleeping in my bed. Then Little Bear looked at his bed and said in his small squeaky baby voice. Somebody is sleeping in my bed. He squeaked so loudly that Goldilocks woke up with a start. She jumped out of bed, and away she ran, down the stairs and out into the forest. And the three bears never saw her again, 